All right, to those who don't know, D&D Shorts is a uh, D&D content creator, obviously. As uh, shocking as that may be. Um, and we all know what a I'm sorry video is. It is, it's never good. They either did something, typically it's either someone talking to a minor or something stupid and crazy that just does not need to be happening. So, I'm really upset to see what this is going to be. I'm really kind of curious to see what happens and get to the bottom of what's actually going on here. Because I really want to support this guy, but if he did something stupid, I, I don't know if we can. So, let's just get into it. So, as meant, I know most of you already know this, but recently there's been uh, one very serious accusation that, have, that has come out publicly about me and i thought a lot about how how best to do this because when there's a when there's a narrative like this it, it often just goes completely out of control and it, it feels like no matter what you do you, you're gonna kind of only make it worse damn it's not sounding good <sighs> fuck and i really really like this content creator too and i could throw around a lot of blame or start off with excuses, but honestly, I think that would be disrespectful to the people who I see now that I have hurt. I, I have hurt. So first thing to say, cards on the table, yes, it is true. Um, oh my about God. 17 days ago, at least from time of recording, I knowingly and willingly cast silvery bars. Oh, you piece of shit. I've also committed several other atrocities. I gave a player a Vorpal sword in exchange for a 50%. <laughs> oh, I needed this. This is... <laughs> could you... Could you... Oh, man. That is... That is top tier. That is top tier. I knowingly and willingly dun 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 cast silvery barbs no sent off pizza coupon I killed a <gasps> beloved NPC because oh. I panicked and forgot their name I can't spell the player <laughs> a beloved NPC whose name it didn't matter he's dead now casting revivify I'm sorry but there's actually more in fact there is a real thing that I need to apologize for. Oh, no. Keeping a secret. <gasps> for the last 18 months, I've been working with Loot Tavern to create oh my Ryoko's God. Guide to the Yokai Realms. Oh. It's a 5e book that revolutionizes the game with new systems and other cool stuff. Yokai Realms. Week. New rules mechanics for fighting gargantuan kaiju like Attack on Titan or God of War. A crafting system with rules for harvesting materials and creating weapons and prosthetics inspired by Sekiro. Huge buffs to martial characters with advanced weapon techniques, skill trees, and yep. sentient weapon mechanics. An entirely new class, the Element oh. Bender, letting oh. you live out your I avatar. can become the Avatar! Dozens of new subclasses, races, and monsters inspired by East Asian folklore and legend. Yo. The lore and setting and monsters are being managed and written by Dai J. Rong He and Yo Shinoya Frank. This is real, beautiful storytelling by people who grew up with these tales and are bringing them to life. I'm going to be the avatar. It's going to be insane. I'm going to love it every second of it. I'm going to call myself Ung just to just to piss people off. The pre-launch Kickstarter page is now live. And if you sign up there now, you'll get access to this beautiful free dice set oh. when the Kickstarter launches. The Kickstarter page is linked here and is also in the description. Sorry for I'll link it down in the description as well. Stuff, but it's official and I'll be dropping more information nearer the time. I hope I didn't freak you out too much near the beginning of this video. Um, but yeah, stay tuned and I'll see you next time. Well, that definitely went a completely different direction than what we're used to. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Uh, go and uh, give them some support. Uh, subscribe to this channel. Links will be down in the description. Peace.